So, Joe, Jacob, and myself ventured out to a butcher shop, a local butcher shop here in Misawa, Japan, and we purchased some steaks. Here's a steak that I purchased. Looks pretty tasty. So, I'm just going to do a real simple salt, pepper, rub it in on each side. I'm going to put some oil in my pan, get that pan nice and hot. Got some butter to add, and that's the only seasoning I'm going to use. This is Ponape pepper, some of the best pepper in the world. Got the olive oil heating up. Kind of coat that pan. We want that oil to kind of smoke. That's the sound right there. That butter melt. I'm gonna let that rest for about five minutes. Moment of truth. Mmm. Sugoi. Oshi des. Mmm. That is a good steak. So, I asked one of my Japanese friends what these were. They told me these were beef loins that we got from the butcher shop. Simple. Coarse sea salt, black pepper, and if you're from Texas, you're definitely going to have some Julio seasoning. And that's it. When it's a good steak, you don't need a whole lot of seasoning. That's it. Pepper. And of course, the salt. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Yeah, you don't want to use a lot of that coarse salt because that will make it way salty. And then we'll just let those rest and get up to room temperature. Someone asks you for their steak, well done. You ask them kindly but firmly, leave your house. Oh yeah, these bad boys are ready. Whoa, damn ready. Mm. these off Ooh, woo man most important thing don't touch them don't cut them don't breathe on them don't do nothing five ten minutes just let them go it's so all them juice is gonna go all back into the meat that's how that's how it goes that's how that's how you know the good steaks from the amateur steaks boom here you go
Nothing better to finish this steak off than a little cab salve.